Hey, what's up, everybody? Rudy Linal here, coming back at you with some more Python programming tutorials. Still looking at Simpy, and now we're moving on to a new topic: the caret symbol to take something to the power and division. Now, these are weird things, right? These are this is another uh, another kind of segment of the online tutorial and documentation that you should totally be checking out rather than looking at my videos. But Again, these videos are kind of a walkthrough and a guide through that. So if you want a video presentation, here I am for you. Here we go. Let's jump into Simpy from Simpy import all, and uh, that works fine for us. Now, notice, at least in the last tutorial, what we were doing is we were using uh, x plus 1 times times 2. Now, I'm using the asterisk twice, and it looks like times times to represent something to the power of 2, something squared. Now, I know maybe most people would think, oh, you can just use the caret sign, right? That kind of represents bringing something up, like, to the power of something. But that doesn't work in Python. In Python, this caret symbol represents, you know, a uh, logical exclusive or. And if you knew stuff about Boolean variables and logical operands, that means, like, true caret false is going to return true. Because if you have any true statement in a logical exclusive or, it's always going to return true. True, um, caret true is going to equal false. Okay, I guess only if, if only one thing is equal to true. I, I don't, I don't, I don't friggin' know, man. X, x caret y. Those aren't defined, but if those were symbols, x and y, x and y. Now I use x caret y, it's x or x y. And this, that's just a Python object to represent this logical exclusive or. So here we come into a small tidbit and tangent on how SymPy works. When you type something like x plus 1, when you get your symbol and your integer put together, notice that the SymPy symbol x is added to the Python integer 1. This is still a Python integer type. Now, Python's operator rules tell SymPy that, to tell Python anyway, SymPy objects know how to be added to Python integers. So that means that this one, one right here, is automatically converted to the symbol Python, or SymPy integer object, like integer one. This, this integer function that I just kind of wrote out for you is within SymPy. It just means that it's going to convert what it can to a SymPy object of an integer. SymPy.integer. So that's how it kind of works behind the scenes. But this, this operator magic isn't typically visible to you, and you really don't even know that it's, need to know that it's happening, right? But there is one exception. When you combine a SymPy object and uh, another SymPy object, like x plus integer 1, or a SymPy object and a Python object, like x plus 1, you get a SymPy object. It's going to return either a symbolic object, or I mean, that's just it. It's going to return a symbolic object. But if you combine two Python objects, like 2 plus 1, both being Python integers, you're going to get a Python object, like a Python integer. Now, SymPy doesn't come into play when that happens. You're going to get a simple Python object. Here we go. Let's take a look at it with the, uh, with the type function in Python. It's going to return a type, right? 1 is a type of an integer. And if I use SymPy's integer function and know that this is 1, it's going to tell me, oh, this is a SymPy object. Numbers, 1, whatever. Okay, that works just fine for us. Now if I did type integer a SymPy object plus a Python object, a Python integer, it's still going to return uh, a SymPy integer. But what if we did, like I told you, the latter, a Python object with a Python object, 1 plus 1. It's going to return a simple Python object. Now, this normally isn't a big deal. This normally doesn't matter. Python integers work pretty much the same way as SymPy integers, but there's one important exception division. Now, in SymPy, the division of two integers typically gives a rational. Here, I'll, I'll, I'll show this out here. If we had uh, integer within SymPy of 1 divided by integer SymPy 3, we get 1 over 3. And if I throw this into our type function within Python, we know, hey, it's a SymPy object and it's rational. 
That's another that's another object class here, rational. And we can actually create this, represents integers and rational numbers, PQ of any size. We can say like, oh, one being the numerator and a comma to represent something else, and three representing the denominator. One third. The same output and the same kind of answer and symbolic expression up top. Integer one over integer three. Now in Python, this division symbol can represent either integer division or floating point division. Now, if I did 9 divided by 3 with Python integers, I get 3. Now, if I did 9.0 divided by 3, all of a sudden, it's float division. I get a float return rather than an integer. Now, let's see this why this is important. If I did 8 divided by 3 integers, I'd get 2. Now, that doesn't make any sense. No. <laughs> 8 divided by 3 does not equal 2. We can get 3 in there 3 times. We can get 3, and then we can get 6 we can get really, really close to 8, but we end up going to 9. So we can only fit these two inside 8, 3 and 6. This is why we use our float division. 8.0 divided by 3 is going to get me 2 point, you know, all this jazz. Because that's trying to get us the approximate answer. Now, this is where we separate the line between integer division and float point division in Python. You can kind of change this if you're working in Python 2 or Python 3, or if you've even imported from the future. <laughs> you know, you can run from the future. These are uh, two underscores. I can import division. Now I can use simply integer 8 divided by integer 3, and I'll get a float value. That's, I mean, hey, whatever. But we can, of course, completely avoid this if we use our SymPy objects. Rational, let's say 8 over 3. Oh, sorry. Holy crap, 8, comma, 3. <laughs> well, didn't mean to screw that one up. Sorry, guys. And that's really kind of what I wanted to show you. For one thing, we've got this rational object, and I wanted to show you the difference in the way that Python and SymPy handles integers divided by integers, or integers in SymPy over integers in Python or integers in SymPy over integers in SymPy. You know, it, you, there is a lot of variation, and you've got a whole other mental abstraction when you step away from Python and you look at SymPy. And then when you put those two together, and you look at both SymPy and Python. So that's the point of these videos, uh, kind of overcoming these strange pitfalls that you see when you're working with both SymPy and Python. And I know it's weird to show you these off the bat, like before we actually even do anything with the module, but it's good to have them in your back pocket. So, uh, that's, that's really it. That's kind of what I wanted to show you guys. <laughs> Thanks for watching this tutorial. Hope you liked it. If you did like the video, hey, drop a like. If you have any comments, constructive criticism, please let me know. Maybe write a comment or send me a personal message. And if you're willing, hey, subscribe. I would appreciate that. Hope to see you guys in the next tutorial.